to entitlement spending. And he says taxes will increase by more than $560 billion if this bill passes. Congressman, thanks for your time this afternoon. Thanks uh, for having me. G give us your accounting on this. Who's going to get taxed? Well, probably the biggest tax will be the tax on investment. And there are income thresholds on that. Unfortunately, half the small business income in America is over that threshold. And if you happen to sell your house and uh, it, you, you make some money on that, you may be pushed over in that threshold for that year. And that's a 3.8% tax. That's the first time ever we've had a tax on investment. There's also a, a big Medicare payroll tax increase. Uh, those are the big items in the bill. Uh, they even tax tanning uh, booths for uh, for those who, who go to tanning uh, salons. So even, I mean, there what's wrong with all that? All kinds of revenue. Yeah, what's wrong with taxing people who go to tanning salons? If you're going to tax well, anybody, why not tax them? <laughs> I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense. The other thing that I think is really unfortunate is they're taxing, they're not allowing people to use their tax-free savings accounts for over-the-counter medicine. And if you ever wanted to reduce health care costs, it would seem to me that you'd want to encourage people to use over-the-counter uh, medicines before they went to their doctor and got an expensive prescription. Congressman, would you admit that this bill does not tax the middle class? Well, there are a number of taxes in this bill that will come down and hit people uh, that have a, an income of about $66,000 for a family of four, particularly the individual mandate tax. If you don't happen to have health insurance for any period of time during the year, you're subject to that tax. That actually will fall very potentially on, on most of it will fall on people at that income level. But that's a penalty. That's not a tax. I mean, the bill says you have to go get health insurance, and if you don't get health insurance, you pay a penalty in the form of a tax, right? Well, well, it is a tax. It's going to be enforced by the IRS. The IRS is going to have to get, according to the Congressional Budget Office, $10 billion in order to enforce this. They're going to have to hire tens of thousands of agents to do this. This is not a penalty that's discretionary or can be waived. This is a tax that will be enforced through the tax code and enforced by the IRS. So you're struggling with the mandate. I also understand that you think that this is a big gift to unions. Did I hear that correctly? Well, it is. I mean, I think uh, they've made it a special exception. I mean, first of all, the so-called Cadillac tax doesn't go into play until 2018. But what they do is they say if you're an individual, uh, you're not going to get the tax if you're in a union. But if you're a family, uh, if you're an individual and you're not in a union, you are going to get the tax at a lower level. So they. But how many Americans special... does that actually affect, Congressman? Well, by, the problem is these aren't indexed, so by the time we get to 2018, it could be thousands of people. But I think the real point here is the fairness issue, that just because you're in a union doesn't mean you get a better deal than if you're not in a union. And under this bill, if you're in a union and you're, 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 you're getting individual insurance, you will not pay the tax at the same rate as people who aren't in a union will. Those are and negotiated contracts through labor and through organized. Those are negotiated deals that are made just like anybody on Capitol Hill making a deal. You're taking away from something from workers that they have already negotiated with. But I, I, I want to focus in on exactly how many Americans you think this, quote, Cadillac tax is going to affect. And the fact is it's going to be less than 5%. Well, the problem is the fairness issue, and you say well, negotiate. Not about fairness. No, I mean, is, the president has been upfront about government. who's going to pay. Let me finish. You're, Let me you're, finish. you're presenting this, and I want to give you a chance to respond. Look, well, but you're what presenting I want to say, this what I want to say as is, everybody's taxes are going to be going up. Well, no, everybody's taxes are going to be going up on one level or another. But on this Cadillac tax, it's high-end insurance plans. Many of those are held by unions, but what they give is a special deal to people who are in a union. That's fundamentally unfair. It's not negotiated. That's the federal government saying if you're an individual you're going to pay a tax at a lower cost health plan than if you're in a union and that's just wrong and I think people understand that's fundamentally unfair. I disagree but I appreciate your comment. Congressman yeah. Dave Camp, Republican from Michigan. Congressman, uh, good of you to join us this afternoon. Thank hey, you. Th thanks for having me. And uh, just a few minutes ago again uh, another sort of contentious uh, set of